I think uh, hearing from uh, Robert Kuzami saying uh, we are a nation of laws uh, is a reminder uh, that uh, for all of the um, uh, sensation that we attach to things that President Trump says and, and the uh, sort of spectacle around his uh, presidency, uh, you do in fact have the justice system moving forward. The Justice Department, that is part of the executive branch of the government. And uh, President Trump has criticized Attorney General Sessions and uh, put the word justice in quote marks when he's talking about the Justice Department. Uh, but that is the department staffed with serious people who are going to uh, do their jobs. And it's notable that this particular uh, guilty plea uh, was obtained by Kuzami, uh, who is not Robert Mueller. Remember, President Trump has been attacking uh, Robert Mueller and what he calls the angry Democrats who work for him, even though they're not angry Democrats, uh, but, but has been trying to uh, undercut public support for the Mueller investigation. This is separate from that, although uh, it may, the matter may have been referred by Robert Mueller. This is a separate prosecutor. And the more different uh, avenues of, um, uh, uh, of justice that are being pursued in this case uh, that uh, touch on President <coughs> Trump makes it more difficult for him to uh, undercut and discredit uh, all of those efforts. Uh, he'll speak tonight at 7 o'clock in uh, West Virginia. We're going to see John Harwood. Thank you so much. Tim Seymour, what do you think? What do the markets do as a result of this tomorrow? Anything? I, I tell you what, I, I think the markets, which went up and touched a high, I, as I said earlier, if we had done this on a day without this news, I still think the market might have been taking a breath tomorrow. So um, it's, it's a market that has uh, seen a process drag on for a long time. I, I care a lot more about what the Fed is doing. I care a lot more about these trade deals for the market. I care a lot more about earnings. Uh, I think in the short run, I think this market has taken a pause, but I don't think that the market is going to fall out of bed tomorrow. The market knew Manafort was coming, right? I mean, we were waiting for a verdict. It was Cohen uh, that was the unknown, Either of these the guys, are we really today, that right? surprised? Right. No, well, I'm just guys, wondering to what degree. the Manafort thing is important because what, what his lawyer just said is he's considering all his options. So the thing is, if he's going to cut a deal, that means that he has to rat out somebody above him. And that really only leaves the president, his son, and his son-in-law. And so then it's just kind of tightening this web closer and closer. And that's really, I think, the tape bomb that's next. What's Manafort going to do, right? And then what is the president? This weekend he tweeted that he could get involved in the special counsel's investigation. Right. Are we going to have a Saturday Night Massacre? Those are the two tape bombs. The markets will care about those two. Let's get to Sue Herrera in the newsroom. She's got the latest on the Manafort verdict. Sue. Yeah, once again, just to recap, uh, Michelle, a mistrial on 10 counts, guilty verdicts on eight. Just a few moments ago, we heard from Manafort's attorney, Mr. Downing. Here's what he had to say. You may have heard that the jury reached a verdict on only eight of the 18 counts. On uh, 10 of those counts, they did not reach a verdict. Mr. Manafort is disappointed of not getting acquittals all the way through or a complete hung jury on all counts. However, he would like to thank Judge Ellis for granting him a fair trial. Thank the jury for their very long and hard fought deliberations. He is evaluating all of his options at this point. Thank you, everyone. And now the question is, Michelle, do prosecutors go back and re-examine those 10 counts that resulted in a mistrial and decide whether or not to retry? Also, keep in mind, Mr. Manafort has a second trial on separate charges coming up in the middle of September. So he asked to have two separate trials. The speculation is that basically if he could get off on a number of the initial uh, uh, counts, that perhaps he might get a pardon from the president. Uh, if he was found guilty, that was the speculation that was swirling around, and then maybe the second trial wouldn't happen. But he has been found guilty on eight counts, and that second trial is scheduled to go forward in the middle of September. Back to you. Yeah, we'll be watching that one, too. Thank you very much, Sue Herrera. Eamon Javers is outside the White House with the latest on all of these developments. And Eamon, the president tweeted out he is headed to West Virginia this evening, a place he is very comfortable in. He goes there frequently. Uh, overwhelming support for him in that state. He's not going to change those plans as a result of this, right? 
Look, I think that rally tonight is going to be extremely boisterous. The president's going to be facing a very friendly crowd. He is going to be fired up. You saw uh, the stream of tweets from the president uh, over the past several days about all of this. The president uh, very much uh, frustrated by the, my, uh, by the uh, special counsel's investigation overall. Uh, and so I think you can see, you, you can expect to see a very feisty President Trump in West Virginia tonight. One point uh, that I want to just lay out for you that as we're going through these documents, we're learning more and more about Michael Cohen's plea. And an important piece of this is that in part of that excessive campaign contribution uh, allegation here that Michael Cohen has now pled guilty to, uh, he's, he's saying that he paid a woman $130,000 from a company under his control in coordination with and at the direction of the presidential candidate in October of 2016. Remember, President Trump denied knowing anything about the payments to Stormy Daniels uh, in that time frame. Uh, the former porn star, the I guess current porn star and, and stripper, uh, Stormy Daniels. Uh, so uh, this is saying very clearly that this payment was made in coordination with and at the direction of the candidate for president, that is Donald Trump. Uh, you know, this is Michael Cohen pleading guilty in a federal document saying that Trump knew about that and directed that payment. This is astonishing stuff, uh, and it's going to be a, a dramatic moment here for the president tonight uh, as he tries to, to recover his political footing uh, and, and put the best face on all of this. This is dramatic. And, and politically damaging. And, and you, you can't imagine many other presidents uh, being able to take on this much political water. But this president, to John's point, uh, has been able to do that so far and survive politically.